Now let's take a look at the tools that are available for us to develop our HANA application. And the first one is the SAP HANA Studio. Uh, this is a tool based on the Eclipse platform. It runs on both Linux and Windows, and it's not only used by the developers, but also by system admins and consultants. To do that, each persona uses a different perspective, starting with the development perspective, but also with the administration and modeling perspectives. So let's take a look at the system directly. So I'm just going to access my HANA Studio in a Windows environment. I already have the system right here, but I will erase it so we can see how to add a new system in the HANA Studio. So I'll just right click on this part, add system and place my server information. Next, and then my user and password. Once I'm connected, you will see right here my server with some options. Right now, I'm on the administration administration perspective, so I can just double click on the system, and I have all the information about the system: a summary of the used memory, data volume, and also the alerts, for example. And also I can change all the configurations, everything from here. We can also change our perspective right here. In this option, open perspective. And I can select which of the HANA perspectives I want to access. For example, the modeler perspective, it shows right here the options about SAP HANA modeling. And the same thing, of course, for the development perspective. So if I just Click that again and switch it to SAP HANA development. I'll have it right here, my project explorer, where I can create a new project. The other tool that is available is the SAP HANA web-based development workbench. This is a lightweight IDE that we can access using a web browser. For example, let's go here in the web browser and I will open the address with my HANA server, port 8000, and then slash SAP HANA ID. When accessing, it will ask for your HANA credentials. And once logged in, you will see these four options. So here you can access different, let's say, perspectives, which one focuses on different roles. So we got the option to check the catalog, for example. And here you can see all the database artifacts uh, with all the HANA schemas and tables. You can also perform queries and uh, SQL statements from here. So for example, I would just open a SQL in here and say, let's say select 10 records from the SPO demo US dot OCRD. And we can run it. Type in here one space, and okay. So here it will retrieve for us the results from that table. Uh, of course, in a web-based format. We have other options as well, like for example, the security, where you can change the roles, permissions for each given user. So here you can see all the other users of the system, and you can assign different roles, different system privileges for each one of them. By default, the SAP HANA web-based development workbench is not activated for the system user, for the main user of a HANA installation. To do so, you need to grant permissions for that users to access this app. To do that, you will connect with HANA Studio in your installation, and you just assign some system privileges here on the security folder to a given user, in our case, the system user. All we need to do is double-click on system and grant the required roles for that app. And to do that, you can just search for access IDE. And once this user is granted those roles, it will have access to the web-based development workbench. In the next exercises, we're gonna perform operations using only the SAP HANA web-based development workbench.